Hello everyone, so I'm currently at my job. I know I look super tired. It's about four in the morning. I work overnight shift, so yep, I'm here at work. You know, getting some stuff done. I already finished all my maintenance QC for all the instrumentation. Sorry if you can't hear me very well. So I'm gonna try to do a voiceover if you can't hear me. So this machine right here is the Clinitech Status Plus. This is a urinalysis machine. And so what we do is we take a strip, dip it in urine, put it on the analyzer, and then it reads it and gives off the results. This is our blood bank machine. This is called the Echo. And on here we do ABO and RH typing. We also are able to do cross matches. Here we just have some supplies and reagents. As you can see, this is for our chemistry analyzer, which I will be showing you guys very shortly. Here we have the two Abbott Now analyzers that test for COVID in patients. It also tests for flu as well. And I use this quite a lot in the laboratory. This is the ABL blood gas analyzer test for our pH, CO2, bicarbonate, and we can use either a capillary tube or a syringe filled with blood to get the patient's results. On the left, we have the Allure, which tests for our BNP. And on the right here, we have the fetal fibronectin meter. I think I said that right. It's kind of a weird word, but that tests that. So here is some of our cartridges for the Cepheid. We got C. diff, MRSA, COVID, strep, blue, and blue RSV here at my lab. So we test all of these guys on this analyzer coming up right here. This is the Safia Gene Expert Analyzer and it tests for all of those things. Testing takes about 30 minutes to an hour depending on the results. And here are some extra reagents. This is for the coagulation area and some stuff for chemistry. Nothing too exciting here. Here are the cartridges for the Abbott Now COVID analyzer. So you take the base and the other one and put that on the analyzer. And then here I also have some coagulation and chemistry reagents. There's tons, tons, tons. So I just wanted to show you all of that. This is the dreaded ESR analyzer. It's called like the, I don't know, the 20N roller. And it sucks, it's not the best. Here are some binders, procedure binders, and more reagents to the side. This right here is the Sysmex 3100 analyzer. This is a very large hematology analyzer. So it looks at the analyze of the blood cells. And there is a component on the computer where we use television to categorize each cell, but this is still in progress and not completed to be tested yet. Here is where we are going to be running the EDTA purple top tube. They go into there, there is the screen, and you can see the analyzer is bright and ready to go, but not done with testing yet. This right here is the DXC 700 AU analyzer. This tests for all the major components in chemistry. Here we have the ACL Top 300 Analyzer. This looks for clotting in the blood and how long it takes for the blood to clot. Looks for PT, APTT, and PT, as well as um, Factor 10 and Factor 10A on these analyzers. So it's just measuring the ability of the blood to clot and the time it takes for it to clot. Being a medical technologist is actually pretty cool because you get to run all of the testing behind the scenes that the doctors use to provide a diagnosis for the patient. So if that's something you're interested, definitely check out this career. For those of you that don't know, I'm actually a generalist at my job. I work third shift overnight, so it's pretty rough on my body. I'm not going to lie to you. That's why you can kind of see some bags under my eyes. My skin looks kind of dry. And overall, I just look pretty tired. But I don't mind it at all. I like the shift because I work independently on my own or with one other person. Tonight, I think I am here alone. I'm pretty much responsible for everything going on in the laboratory. It's very chill, at least at my job it is. So I don't mind that aspect. I'm able to 
work independently and figure your problems out on my own. I'm sure you all are wondering what I wear to work every day. They are cargo scrub pants, which I think are super comfortable and nice. And then I have this little cute jacket that I wear. And Chai's over here too. She's enjoying this. Which I also like because I don't really have to think about what I wear to work. It's cool having a uniform because, like I said, you don't really have to think too much about what you're going to wear each day. But then again, you don't really have too much room for creativity either. But it just makes life so much easier. I literally just pick up what I wear from my closet and I don't have to think more about it. I am home from work. I actually stopped at Whole Foods before I went home. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put my ice cream in the fridge. So let's do that right now. I got some stuff at Whole Foods. So I got this chocolate chip cookie dough almond milk ice cream and it's non-dairy. So I don't know if that's considered ice cream, but here it is right there. We got some keto cups. I love these. There's no added sugar in them. Actually, it only has one gram of sugar. So other than that, no sugar in these. These are great. I think they're very delicious. And what else did we get from Whole Foods? We got one more item. I got some matcha powder. I love matcha. I've been getting them from Starbucks. Probably not every day, but kind of pretty frequently for a couple weeks now. And I need to stop because think about it. A venti costs like almost six bucks, if not six bucks, depending where you live at. And this whole thing right here costs like $17. So I can make way more matcha out of this and my oat milk than I can if I go buy it at Starbucks. So your girl trying to save some dough. I'm about to make some dinner right now. So let's get to that. Today on Cooking with Rosa, I'm going to be going ahead and making my dinner for tonight. So I made this ground turkey last night. And yeah, it's left over. I'm gonna be mixing that with some eggs. Like this is literally what I eat every day, which kind of sucks. I get bored, super bored, but whatever. And we're gonna throw in some spinach in there and I use avocado oil as my oil of choice. It is very good. So first things first, what we are going to do is we are going to be putting some oil in the pan. Here is the oil, put a little bit in there. I don't want too much. Oh shoot, I think I put too much. Oh well, oops. I destroyed one of the eggs, unfortunately, but we are cooking the eggs right now. I already washed the spinach and have thrown it into the pan right here. And I already preheated it pretty well, so let me try to mix it up just a tad. Um, the egg's sticking a little. I may have it too hot. Oh, gosh. Let's turn this heat a little more. Oh, it's already pretty down. It's already at, like, low, so I'll keep it there. We have to add some spice to our life, you know, keep it interesting. I'm going to add some pure ground black pepper. I apologize if I sneeze, so I probably will sneeze in just a moment. We'll add a good amount of pe pepper to this because I like some spice. I don't think I'm going to add salt because I had like chips and guac today at work and we had food. And so I'm pretty sure that had plenty of salt. So I don't need to add any extra salt right now. All right, now it looks like the food is kind of coming together a little bit. I'm gonna add some of that ground turkey. It's already pre-cooked, so it's just a matter of heating it up. And I actually did season this originally yesterday, like with a little bit of salt. So yeah, that's also why I'm not adding any extra salt. And this will be my dinner for tonight. This actually turned out to be way more food than I thought it was going to be. It almost fills my whole plate, so. I'm excited to eat my dinner. Let's go. <laughs> so I just finished my workout. I am super sweaty and tired and that is the band I use for when I work out. I use this cloth band right here, which is super great. I'll make sure to link it in my video too if you guys wanna check it out. I love it. I'm trying to get those gains for the summer. All right, everyone, I have arrived at my destination, which is home. I got out of the gym. I had to get a Starbucks because it was free. I had my reward and I got this for free. My favorite drink ever, iced matcha green tea latte, light ice and oat milk. Favorite drink, I literally always get this. It used to be a pink drink, but I'm not a huge pink drink person anymore because I feel like it's super sweet. And this still has sugar in it, of course, but it's not as sweet as pink drink. So this is my new favorite. Day in the life on a Sunday. I'm at the mall at Forever 21. Looking at stuff. 
nothing too exciting so we're just gonna shop around see what we can find i have some healthy chicken and rice over here just checking my youtube guys because you know that's what i do and i have my water as my drink i love water i'm at the gym right now i forgot to film my way here but all you do is get dressed and i'm at the gym i'm doing some squats and i'm ready